Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is kind of special. This comes from a book uh, called The Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, and it's uh, questions that were given to uh, Max Baer Jr., more or less a uh, interview of types. Uh, and we're going to do a couple parts on this. So uh, this is coming from Max Baer Jr. himself. It's Jethro Bodine. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's take a look at what transpired uh the first question to uh, max bear jr was how easy was the role of jethro for you uh he said it came extremely easy to me the lines weren't hard at all it's one of those things it's like some people can play basketball and some can play baseball some can hit and others have to work hard doing it everything was an area that comes easier to them I'm very poor in mathematics, always have been, but philosophy and logic have always been very easy for me. We're all different. My partner's great in math and not equally good in some reasoning processes, although the math and, uh, in math reasoning he is. Uh, Mike Spare is obviously different from Jethro, isn't he? Oh yeah, that's because you're hired as an actor, not as a person. They don't hire you because uh, you are what you play. They hire you for whatever reason. You seem to be able to do whatever you want on their image of what they want. That's it. It was the hardest part of the nine years on the show. Trying to keep the level up all the time. It's like the best marriage in the world. You still have bad days. You're still going to fight. Parents fight with their kids and kids fight with their parents. Husbands and wives fight. Familiar familiarity breeds con contempt uh, in many aspects. You spend as much time with a group of people as you do with your own family. Buddy, Irene, Donna, and myself and the cast spent more hours per week with each other than we did with anyone we were married to or whatever. You better be able to get along pretty well. Otherwise, it's going to be a battle because you don't want to go to work on a daily basis with people that you don't like. Uh, the next question was, did you get along? Oh, yeah. But, if, but first of all, it's like a dog and a cat. They may be enemies, but if you put a dog and a cat in a room together, they will learn to tolerate each other and get along because they know they have to do that to survive. I think that's the way most shows operate. It becomes very tedious for me uh, to listen to all these people on the television shows uh, tell how they're all a family and how they all love one another and are so happy together when I know far for experience that it's bullshit. Uh, they don't really get along and they do have uh, animosities. Uh, there are a lot of fights, but they are uh, unusual. That's normal living. You may like or even love somebody, but from time to time, you're going to get pissed off at them and tell them to get lost. I mean, I yelled at Irene and she yelled at me. I'd get pissed at Donna and she would cry or something like that. Buddy would get angry with me and just turn his back on me or I'd say, God damn it, buddy, what's the matter? That's natural. Not everything runs smooth. It's obvious to anyone with a brain in his head who has been fortunate enough to have a mother and father that they fight and argue. Sometimes the closer you are, the more you fight. But don't let anyone else pick on them. Uh, don't let anyone else tell, uh, yell at Donna, Irene, or Buddy. I can yell at them. But if somebody outside our little clique says something, I tell them off. Uh, was the cast protective of each other like that? Oh, absolutely. You get that way. At first, you don't know each other. And it takes a while to get to know each other. There are certain things then that you don't like and certain things you do like, but you have to accept things you don't, just like a marriage, just like a kid. You may not like a lot of things about your child, but you accept it. You can't just say, okay, that's not my child. Now, what about your own family? You're not married now, are you? Uh, number one was married once. That was enough. I was divorced in 71, no kids. Somebody told me that you knew Elvis Presley. Was he a fan of the show? Yeah, I knew Elvis pretty well. He, we used to play touch football in Beverly's in Beverly Glen Park and then go up to his house in Bel Air on uh, Purdue Way. More to come tomorrow. I find this fascinating. I've never uh, actually watched a, um interview of any of the cast members, um, except for the Jerry Springer show that time. And 
uh, I tried to avoid Jerry Springer as much as I could. I want to apologize for the, the language, but that was what he said, not me. I'm just repeating. Uh, so we'll come back tomorrow for part two of the uh, Mike Spare Jr. interview that uh, that he gave. He didn't give it with me. I understand, please. I did not con uh, conduct this interview. Uh, if I did, there'd be uh, questioning be a little bit different. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Remember to be back tomorrow for part two. Don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.